Laura Gibbs Green's eating lifestyle changed in 2012. And thereafter, she launched a company called the Vibrant Alkaline Vegans Meals after a vision from God. Today, I talk one-on-one -on -one with the chef for this edition of Quentin's Close Ups. And if you haven't already, subscribe to my YouTube channel and like Quentin's Close Ups on Facebook. Chef Shell Gibbs Green, welcome to Quentin's Close Ups. Thank you. Thank you for having me. I'm glad to be here. Oh, you're welcome. You know, me and you met a couple of weeks ago over at the Festival Center in our neighborhood. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. And everyone here in the old country respects you and loves you because obviously you're known as the Alkaline Chef based out of here at Charleston. You are mm -hmm. a talented Alkaline Vegan Chef promoting healthy living and eating across the country and beyond with your famous food truck. So let me ask you this, Michelle. What's new? What's now with vibing alkaline vegan meals? Um, well, you know what? What's going on now? I just enjoy being in the community. Um, and not only just in the community, but I'm able to educate um, people about a healthy lifestyle. Um, I think I people always think of vegan as being bland food and not being very tasty. So I'm just here to change that myth and let them know that you know, vegan food, healthy eating can't be something that you enjoy that we were raised up on. So um, that's really my passion. That's what it's all about, and, you know, to help change the um, dynamic, even with our, you know, health issues in our, our community. So um, this has been a great, uh, a great experience so far. And, and Michelle, what are those other myths that you want to really bust with your particular food truck? Um, and business. Just basically I'm bringing it from a soul food spin. So we're used to, you know, everything being very tasty, you know, it's seasoned. Um, so what I did when I first started in business, some of the dishes that I absolutely love. Um, and when I became vegan, like seven years ago, um, that was my, my first was to actually master those recipes so that I could bring it out in the community. And honestly, if you never use the word vegan or you don't say anything, nobody would ever know because it tastes like you're still eating what you were eating or what you were raised on. We call it the standard American diet. So, um, you know, I make the food very tasty, make it very loving. You know, it comes from my heart. It's deep from my soul. So um, you feel all of that in every bite that you, that you experience. Wow. So, Michelle, let me ask you this. What are those traditional foods that we've grown up with? And I, I can name a couple of them from in my head here. What are those particular <laughs> foods? Say, for instance, I, I don't know. Could it be baked bread rice? Could it be baked macaroni and cheese? Are some of those foods that we grew up with are still vegan today? Yes, uh, baked mac and cheese. Mine is called um, mac no cheese. Mm. Um, and it's actually one of my top seller. A lot of people request that um, when they're catering, when they have family functions, mm -hmm. uh, tailgating, all of that type of stuff. So um, it's made as cashew base um, from a plant-based version. If I'm doing an alkaline version, it is made with Brazil nuts. And, um, you know, you kind of change up the cheese that you use because plant-based is one entity of it. And if you're doing alkaline, totally alkaline, which we say, according to Dr. Sabi, uh, nutritional guy that's where this company was totally first founded on and um so um we have that and then of course we are used to our famous uh chicken growing up it's chicken so we call it chicken and it's actually made from oyster mushrooms that is the one top seller at the truck um all over the place. Um, everybody walks up and they say, hey, we want the chicken. So it tastes like chicken strips. Um, we actually started with the sauce uh, probably like about eight months ago, which is honey garlic sauce. It's unhoney. And um, it's three sauces that are very popular in the community. And each of them, is, one is the honey, um, uh, honey mustard, uh, which is Carolina Go. And then our other is hot baby for those that like it a little spicy. Um, so we have that. And then also I have your regular traditional like collard greens. We just do it without the, without the hard meat. We, mm -hmm. I use mushrooms, shiitake mushroom or portobello cut up in them and also use, um, you know, like some peppers, 
Um, but those are like the popular one. We did Thanksgiving feast a couple weeks ago, oh, yes. and it was a total spread, all vegan, all plant-based, um, just like you would have your traditional Thanksgiving with, without the meat. Without the meat, exactly right. So, yes. Michelle, I, I know that obviously, as I mentioned earlier, you're very popular in this community, but when it comes to the foods, what exactly do people want from a health perspective and from an alkaline vegan diet perspective? Well, I think everybody wants to eat clean. Everybody wants to eat healthy, um, but they want food that tastes good. So when they're coming to my truck or if they're doing meal prep, they know exactly that's what they're going to get. Um, like I said, I know what the, from me, it first started with me and I know how, you know, I was once eating and I know we still want those tastes no matter what we're eating. Um, like I said, the most popular item is our famous chicken strip because I mean, even the people that don't like mushrooms mm. and, um, because everything on my truck is, it's mushroom based. Um, yes. everything is made from a mushroom because you can resemble some of the meat texture, um, mm. that you once ate. Um, and they know that they're going to get that. And, um, and I think it's beyond thinking, Oh, it's a mushroom. They know it tastes good. So I hate putting a label on it yes. saying like vegan or plant based. Mm. I just basically want to say it's good food, period, you know? Mm. So let me ask you this, Michelle. Can the alkaline diet, say for instance, be combined with that so called keto diet? Um, I haven't really studied a keto diet just because I think um keto diet is more um is more oil based, mm -hmm. you know. Um it's oil based. I think it's it's meat. I don't really, I've, I've only thing I know is vegan. Yes. <laughs> only thing I know is alkaline. That's why I started. Now there are, I always say that there is no perfect diet or no, mm. no perfect journey. Um, mm. every, sometimes vegan may not work for someone. Plant-based may not work where keto may work for someone, you know, it's meat. It's, you know, I call it oils and even standard American diet if they're doing it on a leaner portion of it. So everybody's body's different. Everybody's journey is, is different. So I don't think there is one set. I just know what works for me. And um, I know what has helped me um, along the way that, you know, I once was uh, diagnosed. I had problems with my, uh, like, macular degenerate on my right eye. So what that's what caused, like, most of the healthy eating. And then not only that, I use herbs to help heal my eyes. I was getting an injection in my eyes from a specialist. So what I did was just kind of research the herbs that was going to help, you know, reverse that. And I developed a healthy eating plan. And that's what did. I no longer got those injections in my eyes. And that's been over like, you know, five, six years ago. Wow. So, as a result of switching to the alkaline diet, Michelle, what else has changed in your life? Um, I will think that when I first started, um, let me back up. I yes, started sir. strictly, totally alkaline, uh, according to Dr. Sabi, yes, um, which was a nutritional guide. It is a list that's very restrictive. Um, there are some things that are still some people consider alkaline, but according to his list, it is very restrictive. Like. These things on this list, um, his his whole philosophy is this is foods that are less detrimental mm -hmm. to form a mucus in the body. Therefore, if you get mu rid of the mucus, you get rid of the disease. Mm -hmm. So I always say today, even that I may not follow a fully alkaline diet, I do a little bit more on the plant-based style. Um, when I did the plant um, alkaline, it wasn't enough when I got into the business entity to sustain the business. Um, and then definitely is very expensive when you, when you totally switching over to an alkaline diet for me, myself, I did, I feel like anybody, if you have any health issues or something you're trying to read, you know, uh, reverse or change totally, you know, do a strictly alkaline diet, you know, do your herbs, do all of that stuff. And you can almost re reverse any type of sickness and disease. Of course, there's consistency. Yes. You know, you can't start today and think like three weeks oh okay it's not working you know i still have the same issue everything in life is all about a consistency and making sure you do that um so i have clients i ship all over the world and um, some are totally alkaline 
I do give everybody the option. They can order totally alkaline. They can do transitioning meals. And you can do your regular plant-based. So basically, that's all I need to know. And then your meals are honestly prepared that way. Wow. So which one is more popular when you think of those categories that you just mentioned, Ms. Carol, Ms. Cheryl? Well, I want to say alkaline. There are some people that, like, when I ship, that's all they want, totally alkaline. Mm. Um, if I'm in the, like, Charleston area, uh, a lot of people just want to start with plant-based wow. and kind of, like, transition their way up yeah. to an alkaline diet. When I started seven years ago, I just mm. dived straight in wow. and I went totally alkaline. Didn't know anything about it. Just mm. kind of researched, followed Ty's Conscious Kitchen because he actually had a lot of recipes that help, you know, anyone that's totally on an alkaline diet. It's very, when I say it's very restrictive, it really is. Mm. So if you just jumped in and I had already studied it probably about three years before. Before I started. So I kind of knew, like going into it, you know, what were some of the challenges and um, just getting in the right group, getting in the right, you know, community. And that kind of helped me over overcame a lot of that. And then like now, like my food truck, we still have, you know, mushrooms are considered alkaline, um, but I may have, you know, other things like cauliflower, which isn't according to Dr. Sadie. You know, so um, I think that it is a good verse of both of them because people are just want to eat health, um, healthier, period. Yes, ma'am. And, and Michelle, when it comes to foods, what other food trends are you keeping an eye on right now when it comes to the alkaline diet? Um, well, I still have to keep up with the alkaline diet. I still do um, plant-based because I have those those customers. I don't, I don't do any meat. I have a lot of people that ask for, you know, sometimes they want you to make them like meal. Let's say, um, what's the most E to M, which oh, is yeah. very popular. And so people wanted, you know, me to make kind of healthier meals for them. And so I don't like to get it twisted. Like, you know, I just keep everything separate. Like, this is what I'm known for. This is what I'm about. Mm -hmm. And, um, so I strictly just kind of educate. People, I'm the mushroom lady. Yes. So what I mostly and always do is bring new mushrooms to the market for, you know, customers to try and kind of explain, you know, the benefits. It's like lion's mane we have, right. which is very popular. Um, we did the Black Taste of Charleston this year, and then I won on that dish. I'm using lion's mane. I actually did a knockoff of, uh, let's say, oxtail peas and rice. Right. So I did a spin on that. And um, so I use lion's mane, which is good for dementia. Yeah. It is good for, you know, any brain function, any creativity focus. Yeah. And um, so I actually did that dish and it was an amazing event. And um, and I won that night just by educating them. It was very, it was very tasty. Normally I would do our famous oyster mushroom. You know, it's good for the immune system. It's good for the body. And um but for this year, I was, you know, the Lord dropped in my spirit to do lion's mane. And I was like, lion's mane, you know, folks want something fried. And, um, but yes, that's what I did. And it was seasoned perfect. And um, this year I won. So I like to educate the community, you know, kind of purpose behind eating. And uh, mushrooms have so many benefits for our body. It's really amazing. So. I'm always looking for that new mushroom, not only new mushroom, but mushrooms that I can sustain, not like have it today and I won't have it available tomorrow on the truck. Mm. And speaking of the truck, Ms. Uh, Michelle, what else do you want to bring to the food truck next? Um, well, I think I, I've i done a couple of things on the truck. So I want to go back to maybe like having some of the uh, soul food Sunday meals mm. um, that I once used to do on the truck all the time. But what I found when I had the soul food Sunday meals, um, people still wanted the oyster mushroom. So it was like too much going on at one time. Yeah. Um, I am doing a brunch. Uh, oh. I, I did a brunch before, never done it on the truck. So I'm doing like a chicken and waffle spinoff and I was hoping to do it probably before the Christmas holiday. I think I probably need a little bit more time okay. or, you know, kind of, you know, facilitate that. Sure. And basically, you know, it's just, it's, it's waffles and we're doing the oyster mushrooms. And, um, so I'm going to do different little pop-ups, you know, kind of like with that, yeah. um, in terms of the food truck, um, our next project is really 
to get a larger food truck, um, a little bit more uh, space. I really would love to have a couple of food trucks. Uh, yes. You know, um, I've never been interested in like restaurant. A lot of people ask, uh, oh, yes. are you ever interested in a brick and mortar? And I was like, no, I think that for time and then in this community, like, you know, now it's, it's very hard. So I think the food truck is great. I can come to you. You don't yes. have to come to me. That's right. And, and it's working, I mean, perfect in the community right now. Oh, yeah. And when I was over there that Sunday on my run, I saw you working in that kitchen hard. I mean, you were slinging it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That event was underestimated for me because oh. I was by myself. Oh, yeah. And normally I'm not. But when I set up at that location, yes, you know, it's kind of control. I can handle it. Yes. Yeah. They worked me that day, but oh. it was an amazing event. So. <laughs> yes, ma'am. And, and Michelle. So if it, anybody, let's say for, me, for instance myself or anybody else who's watching this, want to get a meal plan from you or want you to cater one of the events, how can we go about that? Okay. You can go to the website. Um, so locally here in Charleston, orders have to be placed by Sunday night on the website. And um, it's actually delivered on Wednesday, fee-based or pickup. You do have that option on Wednesday. Um, so you would go to www.vibrant alkaline vegan meals.com and um, you will see you know everything is laid out there whether it's local you're doing pickup you need a delivery um the only thing that i would say sometimes people get confused i choose the menu weekly based on your journey only thing i need to know is do you want this meal prep totally alkaline or do you want it you know vegan plant-based transitioning that way i'll know you know specifically how to um, that's how I make my recipe for the week. Um, I know sometimes people always like, oh, we're going to get the oyster mushroom. Oyster mushroom goes on in every meal, meal plan. So, um, yeah. So that's for both, whether you're, um, local or, you know, um, if I'm shipping nationwide, they, they normally would order on Wednesday to have it for the following Monday ship out. Wow. So Michelle, let me ask you this. What's on your meal plan today? <laughs> well, actually, I'm getting ready to go to, after we get through, I'm going to lunch with um, one of my friends. Well, she wants breakfast, so I'm going to go and kind of hang out with her today. And then coming back, I am just kind of getting ready for the festival tomorrow. The guy just dropped off my mushroom, um, yeah. Rob, um, one of the local um, small business here in Charleston. I love the flexibility of, you know, sometimes having that that I call it that nice service where they bring it to your home. And um, so I'm going to break those down and get it prepped. Um, today is a prepping day for me to be able to um, execute tomorrow fall, um, flawlessly. Yeah, absolutely. That's amazing. I know you work hard, so we, we thank you for what you do here. So, Michelle, let me ask you this. How mm -hmm. do you want to continue to savor success through your vibrant alkaline vegan meals? Um. I think it's all about consistency. Um, it's all about, you know, kind of giving people, I'm on, I'm always a little bit edgy. I love, like I said, I love introducing folks to new things and, um, and I love getting feedback. Uh, my customers are the most important people. I, I, that's my nation. I call it the <laughs> VIV nation. That's yes. my tribe. Like they, when I say my customers, they are really consistent. So I take pride in great customer service, always did, no matter where I was, whether I when I was in corporate America. So I'm all about providing great customer service, consistency with our product, and always a smile and making sure that everyone have a great time. I do take the time, no matter how busy I am, I try to communicate and converse, you know, with my, with my uh, VIV family. So, um, and I think that's important. A lot of people respect that. Um, I believe my number one thing is always consistency. You know, having that compassion for what I do and having empathy for people that are actually transitioning, you know, to this lifestyle because a lot of times people have that myth, like, you know, vegan food isn't good. It's nasty. It's tasty. So, um, and, you know, everybody palate is a little bit different. But when you come to me, you're going to, it's, it's that soul food. <laughs> oh, absolutely. Absolutely. And, and Michelle, you talk about obviously your time in corporate America. So what from corporate America did you bring to your business and the food truck? Customer service. Um, 
Um, I'm all about customer service. I love that. I worked for Gap for 11 years. Oh. Um, yeah, and Gap was always big on customer service. They train you absolutely to, I mean, to the 10. Like, But I've always been a people person, so it's easy. And I believe in, in meeting people where they are. So that's always, wherever I go, I never meet a stranger. Mm -hmm. So, you know, I love people. Um, I love our community. I love Charleston. Um, I love networking. And, um, you know, I try to keep that same, that's to be consistent mm -hmm. at the food truck. Um, even when I have other, you know, my, um, the, my peers are someone that work with me and I'll tell them, Hey, it's all about customer service. You know, like we don't have attitude here. Right. We don't, you know, no, that's not at the truck. Cause my customer means everything to me. And, you know, I, I think that. Well, how I feel, I want everybody to feel the same way because these, this is how you have repeater customer. Most of my customers, I know their name. Yes. Some come every time I pull up. That's so, right. you know, I think that it's very special that you get to know and call them by their name. And that's mm -hmm. something like I learned from corporate America because it was, they come to you all the time. There is no way that you should not know, you know, their name, especially if they come consistently once, twice a week, like every week. Yes. Yeah, I think. And I make them feel special. Yes, you absolutely mm -hmm. do. Absolutely. I've, I've watched that in, in, in action. So let me ask you this, Michelle. What else do your customers want from you when, it, when you think about your menu and the food truck? Um, so I've had a lot of requests, um, again, for doing cooking classes Yeah. again before COVID we did them like all the time. Um, it was always popular. We have done like couples cooking class. We have done, you know, all girls night. We've done some of everything with the cooking class and it was very successful, always sold out. Uh, people are eager, like, you know, you, you want to teach them, you know, how to do it. It's, I could take your money all day long, but you know, I want to be able to teach you how to fish, you know, like the Bible said, that way you can go out and you can actually teach your family, show them, you know, how to eat healthy. If it's just one dish, master that one dish and then move on. So, um, I'm going to go back to teaching the classes, um, having seminars. We always had an annual seminar, um, every year where we would bring in a kind of a health expert, someone that talks about health and sharing, you know, um, all the little tips and trips with that. We would always have herbalists, cat wash, uh, hotel come in kind of talking about herbs and, um, you know, we've had numerous people in the, in the past. So now that COVID and everything is over. So I want to go back to bring in some of the, you know, some of the community events that we had before. Absolutely. And, and so who are you in the kitchen, Ms. Cheryl? <laughs> um, I want to say I am like the big mama. <laughs> you know, you go back in the days where, you know, is joy and what they do. It is love and what they do. Um, you can feel normally when a lot of people love to listen to music. I don't like oh. I cook. It's, it's quiet. I love that because it's like my thinking process, mm. like it's going on, you know, going on and I'm putting all of the energy yeah. like into what I'm doing. I, I never, I don't think I ever really like listen to music. I'm just kind of listening to the environment. I'm listening to, you know, what's my hand is feeling it. Sure. And, um, that's kind of the way that I operate. Um, the way that I move, um, even when I'm driving, I'm, I'm it's solo. I listen to podcasts of anything. Right. Um, but for the, because my life is sometimes so busy, yes, I enjoy yeah. that peaceful, peacefulness. And I'm transferring the peace that I have inside and the love that I have and the soul that it brings. And that way, when you eat this food, this is what you experience. So it's all about experience. I want everyone to be able to, not that it's good food, but I want them to say, man, you have to experience that because it, it's an experience, you know, I can't, I don't know what else to say. Everybody like, Oh, the food is so good. Yeah. I, I love that. I'm glad that, that you feel that experience and everything that I put into it. Yeah. Oh, absolutely. You do a great job with that as well. A and Michelle, you talk about those foods that you actually cook. So which one of those foods that you cook that are on the menu actually describes you? Um, 
I probably will say I am a little bit between like the famous chicken strip, the oyster mushrooms and lion's mane because those are my two most popular like like mushroom because it's very versatile. Yes, um, you know, oyster mushrooms, I think, you know, it does, it's not in color, mm. but I feel like it's vibrant. Yes. Like this business, this business represent me, the, the vibes, you know, the bright colors. That is me. That's my energy. That's my love. That's that feeling. And, um, and I've always, I'm happy. Like, um, I don't cook if anything's going on that I, you know, can't shake. I would never prepare a meal. I, I, I don't. There have been times where I've, you know, had to call a customer. Hey, I would have to do this tomorrow. You know, my energy's a little off. Right. And I never, I never get in the kitchen when it's like that. I mm -hmm. let whatever that is kind of go away. And then I can get back in my groove and do what I do. And you can be able to, you know, just kind of feel, just kind of feel the energy for me. Because, you know, it's all, it's vibrant. Yes. It's love. You know, it's happiness, it's peace, you know, that, that's what I'm all about. And I think that's what all my food represent. And when I'm in the kitchen, you know, everything comes out. Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. Well, Chef Cheryl Gibbs Green, thank you so much for your time. And again, welcome to Quentin's Post Ups. Thank you for having me. I really appreciate it. And I will talk to you the next time. I'll see you around. All right. Thanks, Quinn. Thank you. Take care. Happy Bye -bye. holidays. Likewise.